Hi, my name is Matthew and I'll be giving you step-by-step -step instructions on how to perform a rapid antigen screen for each of your employees. I'll be using both the nasal and nasal pharyngeal pan bio test. First of all, it should be noted that any employee coming to the workplace who is showing symptoms of any kind should immediately be referred to Alberta Health Services for a diagnostic test. Anyone who has symptoms or a known exposure to COVID-19 should be isolating and should not be tested with a rapid test at the work site. The rapid test is a screening tool and not a full PCR test. When you receive your kit of 25, you'll also receive a manual. Please read the manual so that you know exactly what type of test you are performing. You'll also notice that there are two control swabs in the box. These are not to be used for any nasal collection. One will guarantee a negative result, the other will guarantee a positive result. They're only for quality control purposes and not to be used for any nasal swabbing. Most of the time, you'll ignore them. However, if you want to perform a quality control test on the kit, these are the swabs that you will use. You simply enter them into the buffering agent. You do not swab anyone's nasal with them. So let's get into it. You'll receive an allotment of vials. The first thing you'll do is note that the vial has a line at the bottom. Do not fill the buffering agent above or below that line. Fill the vial directly to the line. It should only take 10 to 12 drops to do that. You will have only received one bottle of buffering agent for 25 tests, and that should be plenty to do all 25 tests. In your workplace, the test will be done under the supervision of someone who is trained on this process to ensure the sample collection and the test is done properly. However, for this video, we're showing you how a self-collection works. First, we'll demonstrate how to do a swab using a nasal swab, and then we will show you how to do a nasal pharyngeal, or NP swab. The NP swab is the one that goes all the way to the back of your nose. However, for the purpose of rapid testing, Alberta has determined that NP swabs are also effective and do not need to go all the way to the back of your nasal cavity, but do require additional steps. Using the nasal swab, remove the swab from the package. This is a non-invasive test, so it does not have to go all the way back into the nasal cavity. It simply goes about an inch into the nasal, and you swirl it around five to seven times in each nostril, making sure that it stays in the nostril for at least five seconds. Now for the other nostril. Spin it around, twirl it, Make sure that it stays in for at least five seconds. Once completed, you take it out and you drop it into the vial. Swirl it around five times in the vial, pressing the swab against the edges to make sure you squeeze any of the elements from the swab into the buffering agent. Hold onto the tube and pull the swab up slightly so you can squeeze the end of the swab you'll notice that there's a break point on the swab. Simply snap it off and allow the swab to fall back into the buffering agent. Put your lid on the vial and it's ready to test. The test administrator will then tear open the test pack remove the pad and put the name and employee number on the back of the pad. It is critical that you know who is doing the test. You will notice that there are two spots on the test. The longer one is where the result will be. The other one is a small hole. That is where you will drop the fluid to start the test process. Take your vial, unscrew the bottom, and drop only five drops into the test side, right into the middle. Put the lid back on the end of the tube and await your result. You'll need to wait a full 15 minutes for the result. While waiting, we'll show you how to do a rapid test using a nasal pharyngeal swab. Open the NP swab. Insert it into the nostril about one inch. Gently squeeze the nostril in order to improve the surface contact of the NP swab and rotate the swab five times. Repeat the same process in the other nostril to ensure an adequate sample is collected from both nasal cavities. 
You'll then follow the same process, placing it into the tube for rapid testing and wait 15 minutes for the result. Now we have my result. I'm negative. One red line under the C is a negative result. A red line under the C and under the T is a positive result. One red line under the T is an inconclusive result. Both the nasal swab and the MP swab work in the same manner. Anyone with a positive result or an inconclusive result are legally required to isolate and must leave the work site immediately. These individuals should seek a confirmatory test at an AHS assessment center. If they test negative at an AHS assessment center, they are allowed to return to the workplace. If they test positive, they must isolate for 10 days. Take all of your waste and dispose of it in a hazardous waste container. Thank you very much and thank you for stepping forward to keep your workplace safe.